Another man in France was authorized for assassination, Colonel Alfred Kamm. He was considered the most important mind in the German military intelligence. So cunning that he had his picture replaced Kamm with that of a lieutenant. Mercilessly. He'd almost wiped them out. I had to eliminate him no matter how. Cam and I had one thing in common. Severe collateral we damage. carried out a mission to the end. But this time, only one of us would succeed. It was not difficult to find Cam's unit. One only needed to follow his bloody trail. The Manhunter and his pack spent almost every night in an unsavory inn called Le Boeuf. Twice the caution is called for in the nest of collaborators, but there is nothing that cannot be achieved if one is skilled enough. Or bloodthirsty enough. We're in beautiful somewhere France, ready to take on another cabal of dangerous Nazi soldiers. Up ahead is the first checkpoint, man no doubt by a perfectly alert and aware he's not even facing us. Generally, when you're on a security watch, you're going to want to at least look in the direction that somebody might arrive from. He doesn't have a watch partner, so we're free to gallivant right into the compound. This is easily the most wide open space we've had to deal with thus far, so of course we're going to have to be very careful not to run into any Nazis patrolling the grounds. Just kidding. They're all around the outside of this boathouse. Wusstest du schon, dass Kamm auf den Partisanenkampf in Russland geführt hat? Ich war damals auch mit dabei. Da ging's ganz schön zur Sache. Was habt ihr denn mit den Banden gemacht? Ganz einfach. Wenn wir ein Partisanengebiet durchkämmt haben, wurde alles weggeschossen, was da kreucht und fleuchte. Ich habe gehört, dass Partisanen unseren Leuten bei lebendigem Bleiben die Augen ausgestochen haben sollen. Sei froh, dass du hier in Frankreich bist, nicht im Osten. Hier gibt es viele in der Bevölkerung, die uns helfen. Auch ohne Belohnung. Wir bekommen stapelweise Denunziationsbriefe. Ja. Rivalisierende Banden auch gegenseitig an. Bei so vielen Briefen hat die... There. A boat I... Dann konfiziert er ihre Bank und Häuser, Autos, Möbel. Was ist sonst noch? Kriegen wir auch was davon ab? Ja. Du bist noch nicht lange dabei, was? Nein, mein Junge. Jeder muss für sich selber sorgen. Da fragt später keiner nach. Ich habe gehört, dass jemand kam eine Liste gestohlen haben soll. Mit den Namen unserer Informanten drauf. Der Wirt soll tief in der Scheiße stecken. Diese Banden mit ihren Flintenweibern. Was sind das für welche, die sich für sowas hergeben? Die hätte man schon alle als Kinder abspritzen sollen. Hm. Hauptsache, hier herrscht bald Ruhe. Ich gehe noch mal eine Runde. Bis gleich. Hans? Breaking this fuse box will bring at least one guard running. And it depends on who's alive. Had I done this first, it actually would have drawn one of the two soldiers on the dock instead. That guard will be happy to know that I am wearing pants rather than a skirt. And the other is standing unaware that everyone else on this side of the lake has already been murdered. With him dead, we can go grab a vial of morphine from this nearby shed and then rifle through the basement of the main building. We'll find yet another letter telling me what an awful person I am, and a switch that will activate now the boat's lifting apparatus work. outside. Good. Now I could finally cross the lake. Finally, we've been here for like two minutes maximum, Viola. Oh yeah, I think 
gut. Vorher holen wir uns aber noch eine Flasche aus dem Weinkeller. Apropos, hast du eigentlich schon gehört, was man von der Mühle aus so alles beobachten kann? Nee, was denn? Von dort aus kannst du heimlich in Kams Zimmer gucken, ohne dass er was merkt. Da geht's manchmal ganz schön heiß her. Ui, dann können wir uns ja noch ein paar Anregungen holen. <lacht> They were completely right. I'm starting to feel like the antagonist in a slasher film. An SS uniform. That was just what I needed. That would be just what we need if Violette and I had any intention of doing things safely. Instead, we're going to introduce an extra half dozen Nazis to the business end of her knife. The fact that everybody Violet kills seems to be suffering from severe mental breakdown and addiction really doesn't help the serial killer aspect. I'd say at least she isn't picking up trophies yet, but frankly she kind of is. Two more down and an entire house full to go. There's a lighter on the table and then we'll investigate the dead Frenchman mobile they've decorated the front yard with. The innkeeper's family. Apparently they belong to the resistance. Cam would be soon paying them a visit. I'm not sure how safe it is to just assume everyone is in the resistance. That's what got those two flashback Frenchmen in trouble. We're skimming along the front wall of the inn now. La Bouffe is kind of an odd name, meaning the beef specifically. The cow would be La Vache. This guard won't turn around until he hits the end of the map, so all we really have to do is keep on him. This is again by virtue of a fully upgraded stealth stat, otherwise we'd be in much bigger trouble here. Also nice, he's moved into a place where he won't be seen by the other guards. From here, we can spy on another patroller, and as soon as he turns to move back into the courtyard, we're free to enter Le Boeuf. Na, hast du schon gehört? Es gab wieder Bombenangriffe auf Köln. Gott sei Dank ist meiner Familie nichts passiert. Ein Grund zum Feiern. Den haben wir doch immer. Entweder wir begießen eine Niederlage oder einen Sieg. Gesoffen wird auf jeden Fall. Wenn wir nur auf einen Sieg trinken könnten, wären wir auch schon lange verdurstet. <lacht> Könnte stimmen. Ist Kam eigentlich schon aufs Zimmer gegangen? Was hat er denn diesmal mitgeschleppt? Was weiß ich. Irgend so eine Schlampe aus dem Dorf. Wart ihr gestern wieder am Spannen in der Mühle? Klar. Mademoiselle hat es so einen Spaß gemacht. Sie konnte gar nicht genug bekommen. Wusstest du eigentlich, dass der Führer gar nicht echt ist? Was? Spinnst du? Der ist nicht der Echte. Den, den wir immer in der Wochenschau sehen, bei den Paraden und überall, das ist in Wirklichkeit nur ein Doppelgänger. Quatsch! Das glaube ich nicht. Doch, doch. Der Churchill und der Stalin machen das genauso. Die haben auch ihre Doppelgänger. Alle machen das. Du bist ja nicht zu retten. Natürlich ist der Führer echt. Wer denn sonst, wenn nicht er? Ich gehe jetzt weiter. Das glaubst du doch wohl selber nicht. 
Now that I think about it, these two might be using body doubles right now. I'm sure I've seen them before. <coughs> With his back to us, we can dart out and drag him back into the shadows like the she-wolf that we are. And as soon as he's out of view, we can drop him behind the spare barbed wire. We'll whistle to bring his buddy over. Was ist hier los? As always, he'll stop right on the edge of the shadows, but when he turns, we'll be safe to nail him. That leaves the exterior of LeBeuf cleared, but we're going to want to enter in through the second story. No one ever expects an assassin on the second story. I'll admit to this being one of my favorite levels, mostly because it's self-contained. The exterior and interior are both part of the same mission, and it actually feels somewhat varied as a result. There's a closet behind us for if we decided to change into the SS uniform, and this fuse box knocks out the lights here and in this room. A quick whistle gets the guard up off his lazy ass and into range for a kill. By opening this door and giving another whistle, we'll bring the next guard in and straight to the corpse. Hey! Stay off, man! Not a chance. I had to find another way. The Nazi couple in the lake mentioned that Cam could be observed from the mill. I could try there. Judging by past experiences and the fact this guy is passed out face down with his hat still on, I could probably kick down the door and kill him without about as much fanfare as I'll have outside, if not less. There's a med kit in this bathroom and a wardrobe outside that we could hide in, but we really don't need either. On our way past, we'll pick up a sniper badge and then break the fuse box on the wall. The Nazi immediately investigates a very suspicious desk nearby and gives us the opportunity to loop in behind it. Said desk has a code sitting on it, we'll be needing that, and beyond a med kit, there's another Bond painting concealing a music box. That clears this wing of the house, and after picking up some recreational morphine from the bathroom, we'll head on into the other half of the building. Despite how it appears, this room is actually very well lit, and if we head straight for the safe, we'll be caught when a patrolling guard enters. Instead, we're going to want to move forward and hop into this wardrobe and wait to ambush him. Hoffentlich kommt bald die Ablöse. Convenient that he stopped moving and dropped his gun as soon as Violet wanted to be dramatic. Inside the safe, we find nothing more than a pocket watch, but at least we'll gain some more experience. That ends the interior portion of the buff, since there's only one more Nazi to kill in there, and he's safely locked behind a door. There's a pocket flask squirreled away in the firewood here, and with that secured, we can head out and around through the inn's junk pile to flank another guard. A pile of crates and barrels will provide a perfect vantage point to drop in on him, but we have to wait for him to cycle back around and turn his back to us. They've set up crates here to prevent direct fire from passing through the tunnel, which is oddly smart and or random of them, but for now we're going to want to duck into the wine cellar. There's a flare gun in this locker, which is quite tempting, but we'll leave it there for now. 
I've only just realized that I haven't shown this ability before, but Violet actually has a flashlight. It's almost never really necessary, but it should make it a little clearer what I'm doing down here. This incredibly well-hidden wall can be broken with our knife. A secret hiding place. Hmm. A document that apparently contained information on collaborators and Gestapo spies in this area. Perhaps it belonged to one of the girls in the Resistance. I had to take it with me. It could help the French Resistance. If you'll recall, two of the guards earlier were discussing how Cam had lost just such a list earlier. And that was why the innkeeper and his family are now strung up in that tree. The shadows here will protect us from the two guards that come wandering out, and as soon as they turn back, we can head forward to follow. You see, Nazis are very territorial, so they won't pass any further as that would bring them into the area owned by that previous guard. Turning in this game can sometimes expose you, because you don't exactly turn in one place. However, by aiming, you can do somewhat of a rapid turn that doesn't have that problem. This guy doesn't notice his dead compatriot, which makes things much easier for us overall. And here's that peeping mill I keep hearing so much about. There's a unique collectible behind the millstone here, some golden rifle ammo, and I know what you're thinking, but it even mentions in the description that it isn't real ammo, just a trophy. Or in this locker, we find a sniper rifle, just what the game says we need, and a flare gun. I have a plan. First up, we need to climb to the top of this mill to get the proper firing solution. I think it's time to prove once and for all that flares aren't suspicious. Perfect. From here I could finish off camp. One shot in the petrol tank would be enough to send everything up in flames. Mission accomplished. Cam was on his way to hell. Now I had to disappear as quickly as possible. Um, looks like Violet was right. Maybe flares are too suspicious. Well, it's too late now, so let's zip our way back down to the bottom floor and uh, make our escape. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Colt. I think it'll be more useful in the long run. So long as we hurry, we should be, well, slightly less screwed, I hope. Oh, looks like that guy forgot immediately where we went, which is good. And uh, the next guy didn't see us in the first place, so he's just as lost. This last guy sees his two fellows are dead, and uh, assumes it must have been a very quiet sniper from within the wall. And that should clear our escape route out quite nicely. Judging by the number of medkits we're about to pass by, I'd assume they expected us to eat a few more bullets on our way out, but dazzling them with our pyrotechnics seems to have made that unnecessary. We collect a signet ring for our troubles, and then drop back down to the dock area below. This giant tree stump gives us a hiding spot when two more soldiers come rushing at us. I can whistle one of them out of position, and then... Uh, 
Gott. Ich sehe schon gespinnt. And with that, LeBeuf is liberated from the Nazis forever. Or at least for now. Te rappelles-tu comment on l'a amené ici Nos hommes l'ont trouvé. Je ne croyais vraiment pas qu'elle s'en sortirait. Tu as immédiatement cherché un médecin. Maintenant, beaucoup d'innocents doivent en payer les frais. C'est ce que tu veux Est-ce que ça en vaut la peine L'avons-nous caché si longtemps pour l'abandonner à la fin Maintenant, nous pouvons la tuer nous-mêmes. Just to further contradict Violette, after not using the SS uniform and my impromptu flare sniping, we're gonna go ahead and not take a single care for the remainder of the mission. Or at least, no more cares than usual, since I only have one vial of morphine remaining and I'd like to maximize my stealth kills. This is another area of the game that it expects you to brute force your way through, and I legitimately have enough ammo to do so, but me and Violet, we operate with finesse. I'd like to claim I did that on purpose, but that was just the turning issue I mentioned earlier working out to my advantage. With no morphine left and close quarters ahead, I'm gonna sweep the barricade clean from a distance. As you can see, even if you're aiming directly at something, you don't always hit it. The exit's clear and Violet can sprint to safety. 